There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry in to cut my teeth. It is pretty loud over here. I might have made a mistake coming here. Today's video is a little interesting because I still have no clue what I'm even gonna title this video, but here we are. You know what? We might just have to move because that is, I'm literally sitting beside a bridge, as you can see. And this is the Bridge of Brickle, which is one of the most, um, what? brain fart, what am I trying to say? This is one of the busiest bridges in Miami, so you know, it just wasn't a good idea to try to make a video when, you know, videos depend on being silent not silent but you know what i'm trying to say not loud as hell by the city so we're gonna have to just like move i don't know what to call it but i'm gonna call it a youtube curse every time i try to make content or whatever some random obstacle in my way like this dude over here now i'm not hating on him like do your thing bro but he decided to like walk in this circle so this box there he was going around and like he kept going back and forth with the boxes and i'm thinking to myself bro you had this entire city to go walk in and you want to walk literally right behind me but we're gonna move because uh, it's pretty loud and I don't want to ruin this video because I want to sit there. But right when I'm leaving, there's magically no cars. How about that? That's what I mean, bro. It's that YouTube YouTube effect. I don't know. People, somebody explained it to me. Like, why, how come every time I try to make a video, you can't even see me right now. Can I like, how come every time I try to make a video, or YouTubers in general, why does always something just have to go wrong that you just could not control or you couldn't foresee? I don't know. It just, I feel like that's just like common thing, but we're gonna, Oh, dope as fuck, bro. <laughs> they, they fucking lit. They're lit. All right, I moved spots. I'm here now. Um, you know, this is actually a bit better because I have a foot rest right here. You know, it's real chill. So number one off the bat, as y'all can see, man, Brooklyn is just a different city. You know, yachts everywhere. You know, that's why I really don't like coming over here just because I know it shouldn't, but, you know, coming to Brooklyn and just seeing so much luxury and the things that I just don't have really you know, depre not depresses me, but you know, makes me feel a lot worse about myself, worse than I usually would. You know, I typically try to stay happy and I've been pretty positive lately, you know, pretty good. You know, I don't know why, but I don't know, I can't explain it. I've been just very happy with myself and very just happy with life and where I'm at. You know, I really, I guess I just became grateful for everything that I have. And I guess that's a good segue to what we're gonna talk about today. So I don't have a video title, well, I kind of do, but I don't know if this is what it's going to be, but as you can see, you probably, oh shit, I cannot do that. So as you can see, um, I don't know if this is going to be the exact title, but this video is going to be titled, maybe, How YouTube Saved My Life at 22. Now, the reason I decided to make a video like this is because I've seen a lot of people make videos titled, what do they title them? Um, How YouTube Changed My Life with Only X Amount of Subscribers. I did make a video like that myself and it didn't do as good as I thought it was. I don't know if I just have bad luck or something, but every single other video that I've seen that people posted like that kind of blew up, you know, got at least 10, 20,000 views, but I posted only get like, I don't even remember. I think you got like 300, 300 to like 500 views. I don't know what happened, but recently I've realized that YouTube has really just changed my life in so many ways that I can't even comprehend. Number one, the biggest change that I think happened for me was that I finally found people that thought similar to me. For the longest time, I was a very, and I've said this in videos, but you know, I don't know if I iterated enough, but, and I was a very isolated kid, you know, I grew up just very to myself, just because the things that I wanted to do and the things that I was passionate in wasn't very popular. So, you know, for the most part, I just didn't really have a lot of friends. Of course, you know, I have Jerry now, but you know, I never had that huge friend group that I've always longed for. You know, I've always, I don't know, I've always had the dream of having just an extensive friend group, guys and girls, we just go out, enjoy our life, and just do our own thing without worrying about what's going on in the world or whatever. And you know, I, it was very hard to find that. And it still is in my real life, but thankfully to YouTube, I've been able to connect with an audience and just a group of people that are like me, you know, that don't really care for you know, being ultra, you know, rich and famous and all of that. Of course, you know, we all want to make money here, you know. We're not, we're not trying to be broke guys, but, you know, at the same time, we're not, you know, trying, our, our life goal isn't to live up there, you know, and fucking two girls a night, you know, that's not our dream. Our dream is just to be comfortable and be happy. At least that's my dream. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong with you guys. Maybe you guys are watching my channel because you want to, I don't know, live the Miami life, which is so sick, you know, it's, it's a very, it's a sickness. Living in Miami is like a plague, bro. Once you get here, 
I don't know, the, the air is just, it has it has a way of just sh warping your brain and the way you act and move and whatever. Without YouTube, I don't even think I would be here right now just because what other incentive would I have to live in Miami, you know? I don't know. You know, if I was just living a normal life, you know, normal, whatever it's supposed to mean, and I wasn't trying to do this consecration thing, I don't even think I'd be here, realistically. Just because, number one, Miami is expensive as fuck. Like, yo, I don't even know how they're getting away with this, you know, through law. Like, this should be illegal. Taxing people this much and paying them pennies to the dollars should not be legal. That should be a crime. But here we are in 2024. I mean, as I'm saying that, can you even see that? Can you even see that? You can't see it. You got to see it. Look at that. Look at that. That, that should, ooh, wait, that should be a crime. For the longest time, I'm going to admit this on camera. Maybe I just, I'm going to regret this, but for the longest time, I truly hated myself. I hated every aspect of myself, you know, from my voice to my hair, to the way I looked, to my skin color, pretty much every part of me, my height, all of that, I hated it because I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like I had to be something different more than myself or I don't I don't even know. Like looking back, I don't even know what it was, but through YouTube, you know, finding my audience and finding out that I can grow something organically, authentically by myself really made me find self-confidence and really just start to love myself, which is why I think recently I've really just become so much happier. For like, as long as I can remember, I was just so upset with life. If I had to describe life or just how I felt at the time with one word, it would be anger, just pure anger. And it was, I don't even know how to explain. It wasn't like an anger, like a, a normal anger where you're mad at something, but it's deeper than that. It's like an internal hatred of just life itself. Like you just feel like you don't belong on this earth and that the world would just be better off without you. If you're out there, bro, you have a life, or girl, you have a life to live. You know, you can definitely change your life. And that's coming from me. You know, I was, like I said, I was a very hurt person. Growing up the way that I did and just, you know, not having the things that I always dreamt of really made me angry. It really made me a resentful person. And it took so much work to get through that anger. Man, if I can just tell you guys the nights that I went through where I just sat alone in the dark, and just wish that I could just block out all the no the noise. Like, bro, it was so bad to the point where I couldn't even sleep because my brain, my thoughts just would not stop. It would just continue. Like, it, it wasn't even a single thought. It was just everything, everything. Every single small particular detail about my life, I just could not like let go. It just was. It would just stay in my head. It was the worst at night. I just, I couldn't even sleep. It was that bad. YouTube has really just made me have self-confidence because now I know that all of those dreams that I had as a kid, I know that I can actually achieve now because I've reached these little milestones on YouTube where, you know, at first it felt like it was impossible. I would never hit 100 subscribers. I would never hit 1,000. I would never get 1,000 views, you know, but doing it and getting through those milestones made me have just so much confidence like this is the first time in my life or maybe just in a long time where I just felt at peace with myself and I'm so happy I'm so happy you know that's the only word like, that's, that's the word of the day happy you know my goals have changed so much throughout this YouTube journey you know when I first started I thought what I wanted was just fame and money not really not money but just like to be known and just be quote-unquote famous or whatever YouTube famous but, you know, actually going through the motions and, and hitting these milestones slowly but surely, you know, I realized I don't want that anymore. What I truly want, I want an audience, regardless of size, I don't really care. I just want an audience that I love and care about and that I cherish and just be able to do this full time. You know, I don't have to be making a million dollars a year or whatever people strive for these days. You know, I'm cool with 70K a year, man. Like. I don't understand, like, what do you, I, I don't, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just out of the loop, but I don't see, like, why do people need so much money these days? Like, where are we going? You know, like, I think that apartment might be, like, 5K a month, which, you know, this pretty, that's pretty expensive, but, like, okay, 5K a month, plus you got to eat a couple times, you got maybe a phone bill. Bro, you only need to make, like, 8000 a month. Like, I don't see, like, 
I don't see why you gotta make so much money. Like, yo, why do you gotta make a million dollars a year to like live comfortably? I, I don't get it. Having something like that is not gonna make me happy. I could care less about a mega yacht or a mini yacht or another mini yacht. I could really care, I, I, you know, it does, it's not for me. You know, the views, the likes, the comments, all that is nice, don't get me wrong, but just being able to look in the mirror and be happy with yourself is something you cannot even buy. Like, it, you can't, it's not tangible. It's something that you have to find. And I'm, I don't know how, but YouTube has managed to do that for me. This really hit me a couple of days ago when I was talking with my roommate. And, you know, he was really just talking about how he was still, you know, so upset with life and blah, blah, blah. I'm the polar opposite now. Like, I used to be in the same boat, you know, I used to complain and really just was mad at life. Since Jerry hasn't been able to find a way into the music industry and all of that, he still hasn't found his calling. He hasn't been able to do what he truly enjoys doing, which is why he's still, you know, and he said this to me. I gotta give all the credit to him. You know, he he pointed this out. He was like, yo, Ty, you're so happy now because, you know, you have a new job, you know, you have your YouTube, you have, you know, things, the things that you wanna do, you're finally doing in your life. And that's when it hit me. You're right. I do have those things, which is why I'm able to go give a guy in a wheelchair with one leg. I'm not even trying to be funny. Oh my God, that sounds so bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I wasn't trying, I was not trying to make a joke. I was being so genuine, I've been genuine. But he, you know, he did have one leg and he wasn't in a wheelchair. I'm able to give that guy, you know, some food and a drink. When back in the day, I would have never even attempted to like do that, you know? Okay, I've been going for so long. I need to end the video. I know, I know, I know. But one more thing, one last thing. You know, I told Jared a story about me giving the guy, you know, a pizza and, you know, a Gatorade or whatever. And he literally told me, you're better than me. I would not do that myself. And I realized you can't, you can't be a good person or a giving person when you don't love yourself. You can't because you have no love to give. You, you got to love yourself first to be able to give. I don't give a fuck what it is, how you do it, how you got to do it or where it comes from, try to find self-love and self-happiness. I wish I was able to tell you guys how I did it, but I don't know, you know. You gotta find ways to not look for, you know, external validation. You cannot give a fuck about the car, or the boat, or the yacht, or the top floor, or the money, or the status, or the power, or the girls. You can't give a fuck about any of that, because if you do, you, you can't, it's impossible to love yourself. Like, I truly, I'm like, I don't need anybody. I don't need, of course, I still, I still want other people around me, but I don't need anybody to make me happy. I'm good all on my own. All I need is me, this camera, and a MacBook. And like, I'm, I'm good to go, you know? That's who I am. But uh, let me go because I've been rambling for like a good 30, 40 minutes. You guys are probably like, Ty, we're, uh, we get it in the video. So I'm gonna say this last thing, guys. I love you so freaking much. You mean literally the world to me. To be here right now in Miami is just, it's crazy to even think about. It's crazy. All right, let me go. Uh, goodbye, Kapish, Kapash, good. Bye, and love your fucking neighbor, bro. Stop being so rude. Love yourself and love others, and you will find peace and happiness within yourself, or vice versa. You know what I'm trying to say.